What's up guys, welcome back to the channel, my name is Primitive Viking, and in this episode we're going to be looking at stage 15 of Eagle Moss's Build the Ecto-1. What's up guys, welcome back, I hope you're all doing well. Um, we're going to be starting issue 6 today, uh, stage 15. Um, if you haven't seen any of the past stages or um, videos that we've done, uh, go up here, I'll put a little link just in the corner here, take you back to the playlist, you'll be able to watch it right the way through from issue 1 up to this stage here. Uh, in this particular stage, we're going to be looking at the front right suspension, so pretty much exactly the same as what we did in... Um, issues 5 stage 14 which was the last video um, same thing just on the other side uh, and then we're going to be putting in the tie rod as well and connecting those two wheels together meaning that they're able to move with each other um, I'm not too sure no we don't in this stage put the wheel on um, we put the brake drum and stuff like that on I'll do what I usually do we'll go down I'll show you what is going to be happening in this stage uh, I'll go through the magazine with you um, but yeah uh, let's go and do that and then we shall get into the build okay so in stage 15 we're going to be looking at the front suspension uh, and the tie rod it's located down in the front of the engine down on the chassis first of all we'll be assembling the lower suspension arm and then constructing the upper suspension arm then we'll be fitting the arm to the frame, exactly the same as we did in uh, stage 14, like so. Then we'll be building the brake drum and attaching that to the frame. Then fitting the shock absorber. Then we're going to be doing the fitting of the tie rod and making sure that the wheels move in unison with each other. In the end of it, it's going to look like that. Okay, so now that we know what we're going to be doing in this stage, let's start building. Okay, so in this stage, this is the beginning part of issue 6. Uh, in this stage 15, we're basically going to be doing exactly the same as what we did in stage... Was it the last stage? I think we built this. I think it was uh, stage 14. We put this guy on. Um, come on now, focus. There we go. So yeah, it's going to be the same thing as the, this last stage that we put on last time. So we're going to get started with that. So the first piece that you are going to need is... Let me put this guy over to one side for one second. Over here. So the first piece that we need is... This piece right here and then also this piece here so what we do is we need to have two EM screws and those hold those together so let me pull those out of the package so what we want to do is turn it this way this is the way it's oriented in the magazine and we place this piece in the center here and then we're going to stick the two screws in each hole at the bottom here. So I do find that it is a little bit easier sometimes just to get it started through and then put the piece in. Okay. So he is like that. We'll put the other one in the top. Again, with this one, we don't want to go too crazy tight because as it screws in, yeah, so as you uh, screw this guy in, make sure it's not too tight because you'll have plenty of wiggle room because he's going to have to move. Like the one here, 
which I made last time, the suspension shifts all the way through. So it has to be nice and easy and held together. See what this one looks like. I, that looks super loose to me. I'm not sure whether I like that. I might go. I might replace that uh, that piece with the last one that we did. Um, anyway, so now, now this piece last time was the bane of my existence because when I went in and uh, used my tweezers like this, it shot across the room and it took me 15 minutes to find it. Which you don't see in the YouTube video, obviously, because I, uh, I cut it out. Yeah, this little conical piece here was horrible last time. But hey, these things happen. Right, so this little guy is a bumper. It takes a GP screw, meaning that that is plastic. Um, so what we'll do is we'll pull out the GP screw, which is this super teeny tiny little guy. And he sits in this hole right here. The hole there. He sits inside that part. There we go. And he sits there like that. And he takes a GP screw through the back part there. sits in there like that, screws through to the back there. Okay, so that part is done. Next, this goes over to the side here, we pull out a piece that kind of looks like a, uh, a wishbone. He sits there, and then we have another piece like this. Literally just round hole in the center. And he's going to sit inside this part here. And that is going to take two EM screws again. the other side. Again, you want to make sure he has free movement in there, which he does. Okay, okay so the next part after that is... Okay, so the next part after that is you take this piece here, which has two little screw points in the top, and it's rounded just around here, you can see that. Okay. So he sits between these two. Just get the orientation correct. So that sits, yes, like that. So as you have the rounded piece facing in and the two uh, long points facing down, that sits in the left side. And that takes two EM screws as well. Okay, so I just noticed that my uh, my camera stopped working. But as you can see, I've installed this piece into here like so. I actually installed this part upside down. Um, then what we're going to do... Now, what I noticed was that as you screw through here, it locks into the end piece here. But there's tons of space on the inside, so it doesn't actually thread into this plastic piece, which means that it has plenty of movement on this. This one is semi the same, but it has uh, it has not as much movement as what this piece does. Um, anyway, 
move my mouse out of the way from this. So we have the chassis, and this guy moves and sits into these two holes here. Same as the other side, like this, sits in. Oriented the right way around, which is. Wait a second. Yeah, that way. Yeah, so there you've got the two holes here to put him in, and he orientates in like that. Okay, and that takes two HM screws, which are right here okay so what we'll do is we'll flip it over in a second once I get these two screws out two okay so these two will just if I flip this guy this way set him in there like that we'll just screw into these two holes here Again, that's going through and into plastic. So, oh, that didn't quite See if I can make it easier on myself to do it the other way, but I guess not. Okay, so he goes in like that. Take the second one. Make sure this will fit into the hole. There we go. And he screws in. So make a ton of noise. Like so. So the two screws go in there. He's hit. We still have. A lot of movement between these two, and he works like that. Now on the top part, the camera. The top part here, the other piece that we made just a minute ago here, this is on top. You're going to want this cone facing down. He sits right here. And you can see on the one that we did last time, there's two little brackets that hold it in place. So we shall put those on next. Put these two out, so I get my uh, tweezers to grab those out of the box. One. Two. And also, they have a gradient on them, as you can see. So they can only go one way is like so. And the other one goes on the other side. Now they take two IM screws a piece. Again, don't get too tight with these straight away because you need to be able to move it. Now what I'm actually going to do is put in the other one first so that I have a good range of motion with this. That is going to go here like so. Last one. If I can get him out, come on. 
Let's see, just pull that, pull that hole there. Again, this is just going to go final one into there. Okay, he's in. Let's go around and tighten all the others up. Let's do our left, nice and loose. Again, there's plenty of movement through there. Um, so that's good. Next part, I'm just move my page over so I can see what's going on. Next piece, we're building the brake drum. So I need all the brake drum pieces out. There we go. Let's set this over to one side for a second. So I can pull these guys out. Okay. We have the part that looks like a section, which again is metal. Nice piece. And the piece that we want is this guy. So this sits on the outside. We've got the two holes here and the two holes inside this piece. So now this feeds through and attaches like so. So you go through that side with two holes. Again, two EM screws. And some of those sit in here. Make sure this lines up properly. Start. Oops. Need to get into it. I'm going to get the other one started. And inherently, one of them is going to be easier to do than the other one. Yeah, this guy's nice and easy. Which is good. So he's in. Now this guy. So I'm going to take it back out and then re thread. Now you do get tons of extra screws in these packs. Um, so inherently, you end up with a whole, I've got a whole drawers over there um, full of extra screws that were left behind from the last parts of the build. So that piece is like so, held in with the two screws there like that. Now, you would now take this piece here, and he goes, you see there's three holes here, three points, there's three holes on the back of this. He goes on, now let me just make sure I arrange this properly, like so. So what you wanna have, Okay, so you have this top piece here, like that. I've put the coin here just because it helps to uh, focus a little bit. So you want the top piece, and you want this piece off to the side, sticking out here, from the part on the back. Now, this takes three HP screws, which we haven't taken out just yet. Three of those. Comes with four, just in case. Because more than likely, you're going to end up losing one. goes in here. There's one. There's two. like that. 
nice and easy. Okay, so next part of this is it takes a JM screw and we have to bring this guy back over. Now it wants me to start off this way round. And this screws in which way around does this go? So that is facing backwards. So the hoop that is on the arm here faces backwards and it actually attaches to this arm later on. So what we do is we put this part here through this part here. So this actually sits on top of that part there. So this goes through like so, like that, and then screws, and get it to work, onto this piece. Catching, it's going. Okay, so he's in. Again, that's why that's kind of loose on this side. So then no, no, it's well and truly locked in. But that's fine. Same on this side. I think that is as tight as I'm going to get it. I mean, again, it has to shift as well, so that's another reason why. Okay, so now you lift this back, and you put in your spring, like so. And he's going to come over and sit through here. So the spring sits between like that. Okay. Now what it wants me to do is flip it over. Oops. Make a lot of noises, I bang stuff. Like so. And same again, this guy is gonna to attach to here. Okay. Again with a JM screw. Let's see if I can get this through here. There we go. Now this one's a little bit trickier because push down at the same time as screwing it in because of that spring that is in there. There he goes. Loosen him off a little bit so he's not quite as tight because these wheels have to move. on the side, but that is okay, because you can always adjust it and loosen it off later on. So last piece for this little part is we have to grab this guy here who goes through this part. You can see there's like a, a notch here. It's keyed in. Okay, so it was at this moment that I realized that uh, I put that one piece upside down that I mentioned earlier. Um, and what that did was it offset the hole a fraction, um, but it's enough that uh, I had to take the whole thing apart and uh, put it back together the correct way so that everything would fit. And uh, you'll see why in a second. 
Um, but uh, yeah, it was a little bit annoying and it took me about half an hour to take everything apart and put it back together again. So just be aware of this when you're looking at the magazine. Make sure everything is fitting correctly. It was correct the right. It was the right way when I first started, but then I put everything down so that I could get the screws out and it flipped over. So just be aware of that. Be prepared. Have your screws out and stuff ready to go. But um, I mean, I'm doing things wrong, so that uh, you 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 know where things can be wrong. So just be aware of that, and uh, we'll carry on. Okay, so. Next piece is you have this guy here, which has got a key in it, like so. Now, he goes through the piece here, which has got the same slot, so it can only go in one way. And you flip it over, it goes into this hole just here. Now, that goes in with a. Check this out real quick an HM screw is one of these guys here. He's in there like so. So again, this goes in through the bottom. This goes through the top part here. And the hardest thing is just lining this guy up. actually creates a little bit of tension as well. Squeeze it as you do it out. Pulls everything in. This is what you want. It means that now this can move freely like this. So now, if I flip this back over, have the two wheels like so. Okay, so the next part is we take throw this over here. Take this bar here. And much the same as the one on this side, it connects the same way. So let me figure out the orientation of this. It is like so. And that is connected onto that with an HM screw again. There we go. So he goes through that part here and connects on there's a hole right here on the back side. A little bit awkward, so Let's see how well I can get this to work. screws into there like so. And then this piece connects into here, like that. And then that takes a KM screw, which is the one that has the flat little flange on it. Let me show you this now. Right here, so it's got like a little built-in washer there we go. Yeah, it has a little built-in washer in it there and that goes through the bottom of this okay so that's a nice clean fit in there and after that you can see you're going to be able to turn the wheels with those because they're not connected um, and that will also be able to be turned with the wheel in the actual uh, the frame as well so that's how that works and then that is the end of stage 15 okay so that's the end of stage 15 of issue 6 uh, as you saw in that I did have a couple of issues with, uh, with, with the build um, all my part Nothing wrong with the build itself. It was just some silly little mistakes that I made, um, which got rectified. Um, and hopefully, from this video, you'll be able to learn that uh, 
things happen. So if it does go wrong, it doesn't matter. It doesn't take long to fix it. Just be patient and uh, make sure you do it right. Um, one of the main differences with this particular video as well and the next three is I wasn't streaming at the time. So no uh, crazy uh, talking to chat and stuff like that. Um, but if you do want to watch the streams that I have done in the past, uh, you can go to my Twitch channel, which is twitch.tv forward slash primitive underscore viking. You'll be able to find them there. Also find me playing some uh, random games as well. I'm playing a lot of Valheim and uh, such games like that. Um, also, if you liked the video, hit that like button. And uh, if you feel so inclined, hit the subscribe button as well. I really much appreciate it. Um, so hopefully the next stage, stage 16, will be out on Monday next week. Um, we are expecting a little baby in the next couple of weeks, so she may come at any time. Um, so there may be delay to that, but I'll, uh, I'll update you guys and let you know what's going on. Uh, on my Twitter, which is going to be down, if you uh, want the link for that, it's down below um, in the description. Um, but yeah, thank you very much for stopping by and uh, make sure you click on this link up here and uh, check out my past videos if you haven't seen them already. And if not, then I will see you again next week. Bye now.